Hello Lolas and welcome to my channel. Guys, if you are new to this channel and this is your first time coming by, make sure you click that subscribe button, that red subscribe button, press it now. I'll give you time. Okay, you found it? Got it? Okay, it's red, baby, the red one. Okay, if you see a join button next to it, then that probably means you're not on an Apple product, so you can see it or you're on your computer or laptop. Um, so that is to the Chatterbox, and it is a paid membership uh, where you join. It's a dollar and ninety nine cents to join, and you have to be at least eighteen years old to join that. That is for exclusive live streams with me, doll chats some of my getting to know me better type situation, talking, story time, off subject, the stories behind my dolls, makeup stories behind my dolls, all types of stuff, whatever. Um, okay, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Also, there is the links in the description bar for merch as well. Yes, I have a lot of stuff going on on this channel. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. And I do want to encourage everybody to join the Chatterbox. I want the Chatterbox to grow at this point. I am going to be working on some things, scheduling, doing more time in the Chatterbox. I'm not going to leave the gym pop astray, trust me. But I want the Chatterbox to grow to a very large size because what it does is it takes us away from outside people that are non-doll collectors that don't understand the topics that we're talking about and we can be as vulnerable as we want to be and we can be as open about how we feel about our hobby and that's what I want to do I want to get to that point with the chatterbox I want it you know right now I'm really loving it right now I, ha I got a lot of interaction going on into it um, it has grown over time but I am going to start picking things up and spending a lot more time in it. But anyway, so now that we're two minutes in, <laughs> the reason for this video, guys, as you can see, this is both um, Mick Asleep and Mick Awake by Audrey Stoetti. And I probably said that wrong, but you got what I'm saying. They are both preemies, 16-inch. Um, they, they said 16 to 17-inch, I guess, or whatever. Um, they fit mainly preemie size clothes, but like onesies, some onesies, if they've been washed or they're very small size, they can fit some small newborn size onesies. But um, anyway, so that is that. Um, voting today is going to happen tonight. I'm going to get the poll up. Um, it'll take me a little bit of time because I got to do brief descriptions for each person and hopefully it fits with, um, you know, on the polls. But voting is going to happen. We are going to do voting. I am going to, we're going to have voting. It's going to start tonight, which is Thursday. I'm going to let it go from Thursday, 6 o'clock, Friday, 6 o'clock. That's 24 hours. And then... We're going to go to Friday, Saturday, 6 o'clock, and I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment. We'll do two days or three days. I think two days is enough. So we'll do it. We'll cut it off at Saturday at 6 o'clock um, p.m. Because I will try to get the poll up basically 48 hours from whenever it starts so if i'm a little late it'll be a little later than that but that's and i will let you guys know when it's about to end because i'll be like last call for your votes last call for your votes so the the winner will end up taking the little baby here with the little boy colors on um i have him as a boy i will be sending him home as a boy but you can definitely um have him as a girl if you want to later um I wish I would have had something pink to put on him just to show you guys that he can be a girl but anyway I'll, I'll maybe I'll get a video up soon uh, later next of that um but anyway let me just let me just talk just for a second okay um just hear me out for a second 
So this giveaway basically is just me trying to show appreciation. I've been on this platform for about seven years for those that may not know since 2013. Um, I started out like everybody else with zero subscribers. I know that there is a lot of people that um, talk about, you know, everybody's bought views and bought subscribers. I am not one of those people. I can assure you of that. Um, my growth, it took time to get to having, you know, 53, 54, I don't know how many thousand, 54,000 subscribers that I have. And mainly when my channel really took off, the truth of the matter was, is that I had a couple videos went viral. Um, my video of Zoe by Claire Teller, um, has over 20 million views on it. And that's what really brought in a lot of the subscribers. Um, of course, all of the subscribers are not active. Otherwise, I would have 50,000 views on every video. That's not to say no here. There are also the algorithm of uh, the uh, YouTube has changed. And anyway, I'm not going to get into all that. That's, that's not where we're going. See, I get off sidetracked. But the giveaway is for people that's been following me for a while. Um, or just recently started following me but likes my that loves my work and my painting I'm not perfect in my art but I'm passionate and I wanted to streamline it a little bit and select a couple people who I felt like would probably enjoy this baby in their collection rather it be for a month two months forever or whatever it's up to you I'm not gonna cry river if it don't go that way it would be lovely if you did keep it but if it don't it don't um once I give it away it's, it's given away um but I like to do these and I can't do them all the time because as you know it you know it's um it costs to do giveaways but what I want you guys to know is if you did not get chosen this time please don't be salty about it please join the voting and stuff like that let's make it great because the better this one turn out the more likely I will do another one when I can I can't do them back to back because you know when I do a, a baby that's free it takes away from me painting a baby that makes me money and I need money apparently I do um <laughs> And so, but I just wanted to say that I do not, like, I didn't say, oh, if you got babies in your collection already, you can't participate. Um, if you, you know, if you didn't have them, you couldn't participate. It was more so on trying to seek through the, sin the sincerity of the, the entries, you know, rather people were just saying what they thought I wanted them to say or was it kind of true because I kind of looked at other that people collections and kind of seeing what they had going on some of you guys I was a little familiar with some of you guys I wasn't um but nevertheless of course out of tons of entries um I've picked five people and I'm gonna give brief descriptions the best I can from what the information I have and hopefully I do it I'm going to try to do it as fair as possible and you guys pick how you feel or what you feel because I don't want to make the final decision. So, um, yeah, so I, I want to do that. Um, so I'll be doing this one and once I get that up, I am going to be packing up India because India is going to my mom as a um, gift to her for her birthday. I decided to go ahead and give her India, which is my toddler. So I am giving away. I decided that if I'm going to give away babies, I should give to my family first. So that was that baby. And I'm going to give another baby to another family member out of my collection as I'm downsizing for space. But I'm also selling babies as well for money. Yes, it's thundering. And I'm doing a video. <laughs> but um, nevertheless, I just, like I said, I just want you guys to enjoy this and take this as fun. And I have assigned fake names. Let me 
go let me reiterate that you are not to make a public announcement you can't be like hey guys vote for me my name is such and such because that would defeat the purpose if that's the case i could just give you your same name now granted i know humans and you guys know humans they're gonna probably tell their friends hey i'm such and such vote for me i can't stop that i have no control over that and if they tell their children to come vote for them or their cousins or they i can't i i have no control over that i'm trying to make it as fair as possible i'm just putting this out here before you know everybody go crazy over it but i just hope that you know the best person wins at least i know out of the five that i picked i would be happy with either one of them winning i i would be absolutely happy about either one of them winning um i would have picked more but it just i was like that's gonna be too many for people to to vote through so let's do that and then we will go to the next step and i will get to selling babies and then i will let you guys know in a, ne a later date if i will be doing another giveaway and i will try not to do the same type of baby or you know kind of swap it you know switch it up a little bit but um man this is so fun if i had a lot of money guys i would just paint babies and just do giveaways i, I promise you i would i would do this thing all day because it's so fun um so anyway may good luck to everybody um thank you everybody that did participate um i feel like a couple people didn't participate because a lot of people shame people for entering giveaways for whatever reason like oh girl you shouldn't be enter no giveaway or I don't want to take away from somebody that you know can't afford one blah 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 you know for whatever reasons I just want to let you guys know from for this giveaway and moving forward in any giveaway that I do I don't care about any of that if you want to enter as long as it's within whatever criteria I have set at that time please make sure you enter but I did get a lot this time, so it's probably a good thing um, that everybody didn't. But I'm excited. So that is that. And I don't know if there's anything else that I needed to tell you guys. Um, the baby will come home with diapers, a binky, a blanket, um, probably two outfits like the rest of my babies normally would. Um, the baby will not. The baby will be bald. Um, he does have, like I said, painted eyebrows and rooted eyelashes, um, but that's it. Um, I can recommend a rooter. You can try It's Mary O on Instagram if you want to get hair rooted. Um, if you root yourself, that's fine. Um, but I'm going to ship the baby to you and you would need to coordinate all that yourself because as you guys know, I am busy with a custom right now and um some other babies that i'm working on and also my first priority is my real job so um so i would like to just ship it to the mommy and you guys go from there um let me see if because i know i did photos so i'm gonna see if i can get him closer i tried to do as natural light as possible so i actually have my window open even though it's an overcast um let me see even though it's an overcast and now i'm gonna stand in the light a little bit probably i'm trying to not all right let me see okay um so you know just like any other art there's not gonna be per perfection but i painted them as if i would any other baby but Let's see, as you can see, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. His eyes is like a grayish blue. And then he has his little, little lippies. And I, I'm going to clean his eyes off again before he goes. He has lightly tipped nails. Um, if you can see that. And the shading on his ears. There we go. Keep in mind that the winner, I forgot to say that. That's also, now the winner also, you know that there are the adoption fee 
um, you will be responsible for paying if you're a Chatterbox member is $75. If you're not a Chatterbox member, you will be paying $150. Um, that's how it goes. Um, which is, like I said, the kit itself costs $100. Um, so basically paying for the kit and shipping. Um, my other babies, ball babies, um, sell for $800 in this category or this range ball so um that just give you an idea of the the cost um the feet it does have a little like little circle marks on the heel but this is his little feet and then the and the back of his legs and stuff the back of the legs and then the tummy plate I did try to weight him similar to her. She's a little bit more heavier, I think, but they're weighted almost the same. I I forgot. I'm going to put them on a scale. I need to pull the scale out. This is his tummy plate. Hang on. So that is the tummy plate. This is... So I waited him to give him a little fat belly. So even if he don't have his belly plate on, that kind of sits like that. But I like when the belly plate is on. Oh, but I like when the belly plate is on because it gives that little belly button out. And um, he is, like I said, he's textured. Let me see if. So. It, 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 when you, I don't recommend you, like, be doing this all the time, but it, it does look like skin, like, the way that he's textured, but that's how I do all my babies, um, my reborns. I don't know how to do it in the silicone yet, but, so that's that, so, and the good thing about these babies is that when you, hold them and all that stuff they don't the cuddling blah, 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 with the tummy plate on they don't use their cut lose their cuddle factor where's your socks they don't lose their cuddle factor with their belly plate on so i never take um lily grace tummy plate off these socks will not come with him just for the record <laughs> these are my baby socks um, I'm actually going to paint her a twin brother. So these socks will go with, with that one. But I, I thought they were cute. Too cute not to put them on him. Um, his eyebrows came out pretty good too. These lashes might not be the, the, the greatest. But his his eyebrows are really, really nice. I'm getting better at these eyebrows thing, thingy. I better watch out. I might be something serious in a minute. All right, so that's that. Like I said, he does take a magnetic pacifier with no problem. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this extremely long video. Um, just wanted to give you guys some detail on them. Let's see if you zoom in those little legs. Those little leggies. Um, he is kind of in the category of Phoebe's skin tone a little bit more so than she's more light. He's more in closer with Phoebe's skin tone. But, um, okay, that's it. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.